Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, this story <laughs> is my first uh, I take trip by myself to Japan. Have you been to Japan before? Yes. yes. Do you like it? Yes. 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 Uh, you guys know I'm a research and uh, okay, so research and develop. Yeah, the body line, right? So I can go abroad just one time a year. So <clears throat> last uh, November is my first time I can take annual leave in Japan. So I think about what kind of uh, which country should I visit, and I ask someone friend can go out with me, hang out with me. But eventually, no one can go out with me. So, <laughs> so I think about maybe I can go to go abroad next year uh, with my friend in 2016. But it means I have to give up the chance of this year. But. Uh, the second point is, I don't want to travel a lot because I don't feel lonely, maybe. So, <laughs> after days of struggle, I decided to go to Osaka and Kyoto by myself. Wow. Yes, because I don't want to regret it, I want to grab a chance. Okay. Uh, when I arrived at Osaka, <clears throat> I feel so confused about the train. <laughs> Why? Because there are Tokyo, Toji, Fuzi. Kaisok, so many kind of trend. So I took several, I should take some time to understand it. So when I arrived at the hostel, it's night. <laughs> so um, after that, I went to the hot spring. I was so shy because everybody is naked. In Taiwan, we can wear swimming suits to the, we can wear, we wear swimming suit, but in Japan, they don't allow it. So. At first, I was so nervous, but I take maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I get used to it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And after I back to the hostel, I met two guys from Hong Kong and one girl from the South Korea. We talked a lot, we talked about the, the food, what we eat, and the job, what we do, and the country, what we live. It's really interesting, interesting because uh, I can understand what's the difference between Taiwanese and other countries people. Um, the Korean girl told us she wants to travel around the world. So she has two jobs. She works at an airplane company at, 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 in the day and teach English in prep school at night. She works so hard for her traveling. She's really good. And two days later, I went to the uh, Asia Maplensa with my Japanese friend. Uh, it's a really beautiful place because <coughs> mm, every picture you take can be a postcard. It's a really amazing place. And he took me to eat a lot of uh, delicious Japanese food like uh, bakuku and soba, like that. And something I don't know what name is it, but it's delicious. <laughs> so, but something bad happened. When I, after I back to the hostel, my leg were killing me. I walked too much. So, so I, when I stood up and walked, I feel so hurt. I really want to back home immediately because I, not, I feel not well. So, uh, but Tracy, just, yeah, you. <laughs> she told me one thing. Do you know show to Yeah. Yes. yes, it's really amazing. I sleep <laughs> off my leg and the next day, it's come back. So I can walk again. So I can, I came to finish my trip. Okay. Uh, the last day in Osaka, I met a girl. She uh, she is a French. She come from Paris, and her name is Jeff. She is the first Western people I met. Can speak fluent Japanese, and she can speak Chinese and Spanish as well. Uh, she told me when she was a, a college student, she want to walk in different countries. So after she finished her study, she just fly to the Japan and find a job there. Lots of my friend and my classmates told me they want to walk abroad, but certain people really did it. Why? Because we always have the excuse to postpone it. Maybe next year, maybe next time, maybe if I find a job first. But how about we learn something from Jim? Just do it. We just go to a country I want to walk and find a job. So I'm, I was, I'm so glad I finished my trip because I met 
<laughs> I met a new friend and I eat a lot of bread, delicious, uh, eat a lot of delicious Japanese food. And the most important of all, I did it. I take a trip by myself to Japan. And I told myself, I don't know, I can regret something I did, like in trouble in life. You will, you will regret, maybe something bad happened, you will regret. But I don't want to regret, I have never done it before. So I told myself, just do it, if you want to do something. Tell me, 